We call this place the graveyard of the Atlantic. Somehow I ended up owning this place. The ocean covers over 70% of the planet's surface, yet it remains the most unexplored part of our world. Although technology has advanced our understanding, we have only scratched the surface. Much about the ocean continues to mystify humankind, from sea monsters to sunken treasures. Join us as we show you 20 shocking moments caught in the middle of the ocean. Number 20. Sunken Treasure Trove Uncovered We all grew up hearing tales of pirate treasures lost at sea and adventurers searching to uncover these hidden riches. In July 2015, one professional salvager's dream became reality when he struck gold, literally. Eric Schmidt discovered over $1 million worth of coins from a 1715 Spanish galleon shipwreck off Florida's legendary Treasure Coast. This remarkable find adds another chapter to what's considered the world's richest unexplored shipwreck area. The name Treasure Coast harkens back 300 years to the height of the Spanish Empire. Back then, Spanish galleons heavy with Incan and Aztec gold and other treasures sailed across the Atlantic along Florida's eastern shores on their way back to Spain. But everything changed when a fierce hurricane slammed into the coast, sinking ten treasure-laden ships and scattering their cargoes across the seafloor in one of history's biggest treasure losses ever. Today, experts estimate over half a billion dollars of gold and silver lies waiting to be recovered from these wrecks. Schmidt was exploring a newly identified debris field using a magnetometer when he uncovered over 50 escudos and reales coins in seconds. As he dug into the sand, hundreds more coins emerged, some still stuck together in mineralized clumps. In subsequent dives, Schmidt incredibly also discovered some rare Colombian emeralds, fulfilling a lifelong dream. The discovery fuels our imagination about what other treasures still wait to be found along Florida's treasure coast 300 years later. Just as it did for pirates and treasure hunters centuries ago, this lost bounty continues to inspire adventurers and explorers today to search the seas. Who knows what fortunes remain buried in the ocean depths or when they'll next reveal their glittering secrets. Number 19. Cargo Ship Castaway in one of the most extraordinary survivor accounts of recent decades, merchant seaman Muhammad Aisha endured four nightmarish years trapped aboard the decaying cargo vessel Rumathi Explorer anchored in adverse conditions off the Egyptian coast. This staggering ordeal commenced 2017, when food provisions expired, forcing the crew off ship while local authorities searched for remedies to technical issues preventing its departure. As acting captain, Regulations mandated Mohammed remain stationed as a lone caretaker throughout negotiations. Shortly thereafter, Egypt impounded Rumathi for harbor dues owed by its owners. With the appellate case backlogged, Mohammed's ribbon ever extended, until the enterprise's six other members were repatriated 2019, after repairs stalled indefinitely, abandoning Mohammed aboard the decrepit ship, deteriorating into a prison where the marooned sailor survived another two years, confined before finally being permitted leave home 2021, when the replacement arrived. His lone testimony of resilience now captivates humanity, illustrating that even while shackled by bureaucracy and misfortune, the irrepressible spirit of hope cannot be restrained when one commits fully to life's light ahead. Number 18. Mysterious Golden Orb An astounding discovery has left scientists bewildered, Advanced National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, no way a remotely controlled survey vehicles, exploring 300 miles off the coast of New Zealand, captured footage of an incredible golden orb nestled on the otherwise colorless Pacific seabed at a depth of 10,800 feet. This metallic sphere, measuring just 10 centimeters across, revealed intricate grooved markings across its surface. Initial speculation suggested it might be a lifeless sponge or an egg casing, but further examination uncovered an unidentified structure with complex patterning, defying common explanations. Stumped researchers now believe the eye-catching oddity to be a previously unknown species of sea urchin or starfish. To solve the mystery once and for, a subsequent voyage was launched to retrieve the orb for further analysis after attempts to capture it on camera proved inadequate. 
The orb constitutes the first featureless golden sphere reported across NOAA's many surveys. Researchers are also considering theories it could represent some bizarre metal byproduct absorbed onto an organism's surface after being expelled from hydrothermal vents, or perhaps puzzling marine life at an unknown juvenile stage. With the orb safely at the surface undergoing tests, the secrets of this enthralling golden enigma may soon unfurl. Number 17. Sea Monster Caught on Camera In a shocking moment caught on video, an unidentified sea creature was filmed swimming right underneath a man's surfboard, creating a huge splash and leaving him stunned. The bizarre incident occurred off the coast of an undisclosed location as the surfer was waiting for the next wave. Suddenly a disturbance in the water appears, and a giant circular shape emerges, churning up a massive trail of foam in its wake. A tentacle-like appendage can briefly be seen protruding above the water before quickly disappearing back below the surface. The creature leaves the surfer baffled, scrambling to determine what sort of beast could produce such an enormous disturbance. The video quickly sparked intense speculation, with theories ranging from some kind of giant squid or octopus to even suggestions of an unknown cryptid or a primordial sea monster lurking in the depths. Based on the circular impression left on the water's surface, some experts believe it may have been a startled manatee colliding with the surfboard on its way past. Manatees are generally peaceful, slow-moving marine mammals, but can create a sudden commotion and turbulence in the water if they feel threatened. However, a manatee of the size capable of creating such a huge splash has never been recorded. The creature's true identity remains a mystery. Number 16. Neon Shark Discovery the Navy sees a giant object moving in the water. But when they look closer, it was glowing neon. As their researchers analyzed the sighting, they made a groundbreaking discovery. Two species of fluorescent sharks that light up in neon colors under blue light. The swell sharks and chain cat sharks exhibit unique fluorescent skin patterns that glow a vivid greenish yellow when illuminated with blue torch light. This phenomenon results from special molecules in their skin tissue that react to the blue light. Marine biologist David Gruber and his team first documented the trait during a dive using camera equipment fitted with blue lighting filters. Initially believing it to be a bizarre anomaly, they soon realized they had uncovered a previously unknown adaptation. Analysis reveals the bright patches may have protective antibacterial properties for the sharks. The effect also allows them to stand out and locate each other in the ocean's dimly lit depths, where blue light penetrates the furthest. Gruber theorizes they utilize their specialized vision tuned to blue light wavelengths to spot the fluorescent glow signals over long distances. As deep sea creatures, being able to locate potential mates or social groups from afar would offer a considerable evolutionary advantage. The breakthrough underscores how much we still have yet to understand about sharks and their niche environmental traits. If fluorescent skin has gone undetected until now, what other perplexing adaptations lie undiscovered in the vast depths of the sea? Number 15. Massive Underwater Mountain Discovered In a finding described as unprecedented, scientists from the Schmidt Ocean Institute have discovered a truly monumental underwater mountain or sea mount located in international waters past Guatemala. Towering an incredible 5,1250 5 feet tall from base to summit, the soaring seamount rivals famous mega mountains, being nearly twice the height of the world's tallest building, Dubai's Burj Khalifa skyscraper. It was detected using advanced echo sounder equipment during an expedition. Seamounts are formed by volcanic activity, with this newest addition to the fold likely emerging from the ocean crust eons ago. Its impressive height and mineral richness from hydrothermal vents often create unique fertile ecosystems. As underwater oases for marine life, seamounts draw in vast aggregations of species from miles around. Initial surveys reveal the Guatemalan seamount sustains a plethora of cold water corals, sponges, and temperate fish species. Many may be previously undocumented. Designated conservation areas seek to preserve these biodiversity hotspots which face decimation from human activities like bottom trawling fishing. As technology improves, more oceanic treasures can hopefully be discovered and protected before damage is done. Number 14. Goosefish footage in Galapagos 
Remarkable deep-sea footage reveals one of the ocean's strangest inhabitants, the goosefish or monkfish, gracefully flapping modified fins to walk along the seafloor near the Galapagos Islands. Captured via remote-operated vehicles at a depth of 1,200 feet, the scenes showcase how the mythical fishing devil earned its monster reputation thanks to its alien visage and deep-sea antics. Reaching up to five feet long, its gigantic head, gaping mouth, and light lure protruding from the top present an unsettling sight emerging from the icy darkness. The footage shows the ambush predator stealthily strolling by, waving its front fins and sweeping its back fins for balance as it hunts for prey. Related to anglerfish, the goosefish prowls cold, deep waters globally, using its irregular gait to creep up on fish, crustaceans, and octopi to inhale into its cavernous jaws. Unlike other species suited for continuous swimming, its reduced eyes and flattened body indicate evolutionary adaptation for life on the bottom, where it can best leverage its camouflage. Its pectoral fins allow it to gingerly lift itself above patches of spiky sea urchins. Though clumsy appearing above water, underwater, the monkfish is a master of its domain through this unusual locomotion. Mexico has dubbed it El Diablo de Vigilia, the devil on night watch. After observing its unnatural walking motion, it's no wonder the creature has earned such a sinister nickname. Number 13, Supercar Inferno. In one of the most disastrous maritime incidents of recent times, Felicity Ace, a 650-feet vehicle transport ship carrying $500 million worth of luxury supercars, met a fiery end in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean after all crew were evacuated when the blaze first erupted. Bound for Rhode Island from Germany, its precious cargo of close to 4,000 vehicles including 1,100 Porsches plus Audis, Lamborghinis and Bentleys produced by parent company Volkswagen Group tragically became submerged wreckage after the ravaging flames caused the vessel to slowly tilt and sink 220 miles off the Portuguese Azores Islands. It remains unknown exactly what ignited the initial fire as mechanics had disembarked after ensuring all cars were locked in park position without engines running. Some theorize leaking vehicle batteries may have sparked a disastrous chain reaction. Others propose recovered CCTV footage showed the first signs of smoke from Cargo Bay 3, indicating the blaze possibly started with the combustion of chemicals, tires, or finishes. The accident underscores the astronomical values of automotive investments lost, with cargo depreciation alone ringing in at around $334.5 million according to consultant firm Russell Group. Combined with the $150 million ship and salvage costs, the overall financial aftermath approached a staggering $500 million mark from a single incident. Number 12. Zombie Proof Lighthouse First lit in 1940, the Three Drangaviti Lighthouse stands stoically overlooking frigid North Atlantic waves endlessly pounding its rocky base, representing both a refuge and prison for the few souls tapped for caretaker duty in this harsh yet hauntingly beautiful outpost. Its name, meaning three rock pillars, refers to the trio of towering sea stacks upon which it is situated, the tallest 26 miles off Iceland's southern coast. Reaching the structure to relive the lighthouse keeper involves a dicey chopper ride or 12-hour boat crossing, leaving inhabitants marooned for weeks devoid of human contact. But the trade-off grants front-row views of whales, seabirds, icebergs, and dazzling displays of northern lights dancing across night skies unobstructed by light pollution. Constructed at the onset of World War II, builders faced lethal obstacles, scaling and leveling foundations on the sheer cliffs buffeted by volatile winds and sea spray. Yet amazingly, not a single worker perished. Today, the still operational Three Drangaviti guides ships navigating toward the Westman Islands, though most now employ GPS eliminating the need for such visual beacons. The lighthouse currently accommodates groups daring enough to make the offshore pilgrimage for photos, fishing, or simply peering off edges while contemplating how those early construction crews managed such an impossible feat without modern amenities. This shining tower of oceanic solitude has sparked fascination across internet channels and social media over recent years, as remote camera feeds provide viewers stark window views into the inhospitable environment. Dubbed Zombie Proof, thanks to sheer cliff terrain on all sides encasing the lighthouse complex, 
One mishap on precarious outcroppings or accessed via chopper could still easily turn the nearest ladder or staircase into a one-way plunge. Not advised for those skittish around extreme heights or absent survival swimming skills. Number 11. Black Hole. A shockwave erupted on social media recently when civilian ocean researcher Antonio Padron spotted and posted satellite images from Google Maps depicting a bizarre, perfectly round black hole in a remote section of the Pacific Ocean, oddly devoid of any surrounding landmass or islands. This gaping abyss gazed back ominously like a portal to the underworld. Speculation exploded regarding the origins of the anomaly. Some proposed it appeared to be an opening to a hollow earth, or perhaps a concealed portal to a secret government underwater base. Investigation swiftly followed to solve the mystery, finally tracing coordinates to Vostok Island, an uninhabited Russian scientific island utilized as an isolated research station. Vostok lies over 4,000 miles east of Australia's coastline. The circle reflected a nondescript lagoon, yet it appeared jet black from high altitude due to magnetite sand and dense green foliage growing tightly clustered around its perimeter. This optical illusion created the impression of a bottomless entryway from standard satellite elevation. Vostok itself exhibits intriguing facets as ocean levels rise globally, being declared the first country officially submerged due to climate change. Once hosting a weather station during the Cold War, the minuscule landmass now towers barely 15 feet from the waves, frequently battered by typhoons and tropical storms. Though the black hole ruckus sparked viral commotion over mythical portals, it ultimately educated millions regarding real vanishing territories like Vostok vanishing before our eyes in plain sight. Number 10. High Seas Adventure for School Project When sixth grade teacher Richard Chandler's class at Rye Junior High School in New Hampshire launched a miniature unmanned trimaran named Rye Riptides into the Atlantic in 2020, None expected their educational project would resurface in Norway two years later. Yet through some astonishing odyssey, the five-foot-long boat navigated over 8,300 miles, surviving brutal seas, eventually sighted by a farmer on Smola Island after 462 days adrift. Built by students with guidance from Navy architects, the vessel was designed specifically to voyage unattended for lengthy periods transmitting GPS locations through sporadic satellite pings. Cameras fed images of passing ships and storms around its path. But during hurricane season 2021, transmissions ceased, leaving researchers crestfallen believing their valiant boat lost. Its miraculous comeback sparked a virtual meetup with Norwegian students at Angvik School who recovered their improbable drifter. Through this story, Children from two nations now share a common bond chasing dreams across oceans no boundary or border could ever break. Number 9. Sunken Japanese Atlantis Submerged off Japan's southernmost island chain exists eerie stepped stone blocks stacked and aligned resembling remnants of an ancient, sophisticated settlement, conjuring imaginative comparisons to mythical Atlantis. These stupendous ruins, spanning a distance over 1,800 feet, lie 100 feet beneath waves crashing above Okinawa's Yonaguni Formation, their architectural origins stirring immense debate since initial sighting in 1986 by diver Kihachiro Aratake. Some experts, including Professor Masaki Kimura, assert it's entirely man-made, while geologists counter the precipitous staircases and hewn block granite constructions formed naturally from tectonic submersion approximately 8,000 years prior during the last ice age when sea levels peaked higher. Though academic consensus categorizes the conspicuous structures as sheer sandstone simply fractured then sculpted by relentless tides, one cannot dismiss the persistent questions surrounding Yonaguni's enigmatic topography and engineered appearance seemingly beyond the capabilities of ancient islanders. If conclusively proven artificially designed, the sunken complex would upend accepted timelines of advanced Eastern culture predating Egypt's earliest pyramids. Thus, through scouring its stone corridors and concealed chambers, we may yet glimpse direct, tangible vestiges of Japanese Genesis tales regarding the oceanic empire of Mu. For now, the secrets of Yonaguni's perplexing geometry and awe-inspiring construction 
shall keep researchers wholly transfixed upon this subaquatic realm for decades to come. Number 8. Frying Pan Tower Rising 100 feet sheer from battering waves lies Frying Pan Tower, an abandoned American lighthouse converted into a uniquely adventurous bed and breakfast by Richard Neal after the structure was decommissioned and sold off. This chiseled granite edifice juts from the Atlantic, 34 miles east of North Carolina's coast. Originally built to warn passing vessels away from dangerous shallow shoals, the Frying Pan Light Station operated for over 50 years as an active outpost safeguarding regional maritime traffic until technological advancements relocated such safety mechanisms inland. Seeking escape from civilization without completely relinquishing creature comforts, guests can now be helicoptered out for overnight stays or events. Quarters consist of renovated crew rooms, including the Apex Firehouse Lookout complete with 360-degree views ideal for storm gazing. Visitors fish off spinning decks, explore depths below via scuba and kayaks, observe marine wildlife, or simply unplug surrounded by undiluted ocean energy an entire day's sail from the mainland. For owner Neil, frying pan symbolizes more than a novelty tourist attraction or passion project. On clear evenings from the lantern room with bow compass etched into flooring below his feet, glimpsing the faint ribbon of shore upon the horizon, he connects viscerally to bygone eras where such far-flung towers comprised crucial lifelines enabling progress. By preserving and sustaining this isolated outpost, marooned between abandonment and conservation, his contributions ensure antiquated navigation architecture persists alerting modernity to what dangers await should we lose sight of history's guiding light. Number 7. Rare Marine Flatworm Exceptionally uncommon footage presents a species rarely witnessed by human eyes. A live, venomous marine flatworm undulating through shallow, rocky terrain during daylight hours. While closely related, vibrantly colored cousins reside in tropical environments, this ghostly pale variety inhabits cold, sub-Arctic Icelandic waters. Their alien appearance underscores how much biodiversity still eludes discovery, even along well-trodden shores. What separates these primitive Davenport's flatworms from related dazzling chromadurid nudibranchs are their potent secretions harboring neurotoxic compounds to paralyze prey like small fish, while chromadurids concentrate chemical defenses exclusively internally to avoid aggressors. In contrast, the eerie translucency of white arctic flatworms provides perfect camouflage against competitors in environs where standing out courts danger. By blending seamlessly into backgrounds, they avoid unnecessary conflicts in harsher climates, allowing focus on hunting fish concealed under disguises of invisibility. Number 6. Ancient Statues Scattered like ancient sentinels across the hidden depths of Easter Island's submerged volcanic slopes, a gallery of the civilization's renowned towering statues stands in captivating mystery. These colossal figures, with faces gracefully angled toward the Pacific Ocean floor, seem to engage in a silent dance with the underwater currents, casting inscrutable yet profoundly philosophical gazes upon the bustling colonies of marine life. Explorations diving down recently to study this peculiar phenomenon revealed iconic monolithic moai embedded in sediment up to their necks approximately 30 feet beneath churning swells. Their drowned predicament seeds inquiry about the Rapa Nui people's social decline and why sections of such stone masterworks toppled seaward or were outright flooded systematically. Ever since European discovery in the early 18th century, the Moai Repository sparked intense lasting scrutiny over their transportation logistics and ultimate disarray. Mainstream postulations presuming careless tribal infighting shunted idols inland now seem flawed next to underwater discoveries showcasing intentional disposal. Prominent alternative theories suggest they were ritually jettisoned to stimulate mana, divine essence transfers appeasing gods or indicate dedicated efforts towards shoreline fishing access. Of course, threats of tsunamis may also have provoked mass-consolidated relocation attempts to higher elevations, resulting in the accidental loss of many statues mid-journey. Whatever the rationale, encountering them refracting sunlight through waves makes one yearn to decipher their untold tale. 
Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. The Navy sees a giant object moving in the water. But when they look closer, they receive the shock of their lives. They were hoping for some overgrown fish or shark, but what they witnessed was a fleeting glimpse of a giant squid. Giant squids are rare and elusive creatures that inhabit the lifeless depths of the ocean, typically lurking between 300 and 1,000 meters beneath the surface. It is highly unusual for them to ascend to the ocean's surface as they prefer the perpetual darkness of the deep sea. What would make a giant squid leave the dark depths and come up to the surface of the water? It is an exceptionally rare occurrence, and the chances of observing this phenomena again are slim to none. What is the rarest, most bizarre creature you have encountered firsthand? Regale us with your unbelievable tales in the comments. Number 5. Spaghetti Monster Among the more eyebrow-raising videos circulating recently are clips from Russian oceanic surveys showing researchers dumbfounded by a bizarre noodle-like organism swept into view 4,000 feet beneath the White Sea, resembling a ghoulish phantasm fresh from the abyss. This supposed spaghetti monster flailed malevolent gelatinous tendrils aimlessly under spotlights as cameras gradually exposed its full length well over 20 feet long undulating in the darkness. Yet post-examination confirms what appeared to be a haunting marine ghost was indeed simply common lion's mane jellyfish, the largest species of jelly on earth, drifting aimlessly into the manned submersible's route. It turns out absence of orienting references coupled with ethereal movement gave the illusion of some alien entity when in truth just another of millions of organisms occupying lightless zones. However, it serves as perfect fodder for amplifying public imagination over what mysterious creatures remain concealed in oceans mankind has barely glimpsed. If jellyfish tens of times normal extent appear terrifying, then what legitimate leviathans glide stealthily miles deeper, avoiding remote detection? We know more about the moon's geography than our seabeds. Suppose folktales have origins from ancient fishermen crossing paths with entities science hasn't formally discovered that periodically manifest seemingly without biological precedence. Even most informed scholars cannot declare absolutely what does or doesn't constitute our marine inheritance. Number 4. Whale Fall Ecosystem When a whale dies and its 40-ton carcass sinks three miles to the abyssal plain, a fascinating sequence unfolds. First, scavengers like sleeper sharks strip the flesh within months. Over the years, bone-eating zombie worms and crustaceans gradually consume the remaining skeleton, a 60-foot-long feast sustaining unique organisms. Eventually, sediments bury the last scraps completing a dynamic process called a whale fall, crucial to deep-sea ecosystems. A team led by University of Hawaii oceanographer Craig Smith first described whale falls in the late 90s, after spotting unusual clam and worm communities at decomposing whale sites off California. It challenged assumptions that the sparsely populated depths relied solely on marine snow vegetative detritus slowly raining from above. His discovery revealed sunken whales deliver a pulsed resource bonanza to the food-deprived zones, supporting rich oases of life specialized for generations to capitalize on such ephemeral caches. Competition is fierce for the sudden bounty. First, mobile scavengers like sleeper sharks strip the nutritious blubber. As the carcass softens, octopi and bone-eating ocidax worms move in, the latter creating odd root-like structures burrowing into the bones. Finally, Lithodid crabs disassemble and ingest the remainder. A single 40-ton whale corpse can sustain over 3,500 pounds of worms, sharks, hagfish, and other organisms for 50 years, spreading the precious nutrients throughout the ecosystem. In the ocean deep where sustenance is scarce, a whale fall phenomenon feeds and perpetuates intricate communities in the darkness. Number 3. Japanese Diver Befriends Fish Off the Yomitan coast in Japan, Lifelong fisherman Hiroyuki Arakawa built a heartwarming decades-long bond with one wild Asian rasa named Yoriko. Their extraordinary animal friendship began over 30 years ago, when Arakawa spotted the stunning brown-banded ras with yellow fins as he routinely inspected a Shinto shrine gate underwater. Over years of kind interactions, an instinctive trust grew between them, 
reinforced by daily feeding and contact. So when Arakawa noticed a serious injury to Yoriko's mouth impairing her ability to feed, the loyal diver launched a committed 10-day effort nursing her back to health through hand feeding and care, demonstrating extreme compassion across species lines. Some scientists criticized his unusual assistive effort as disrupting nature's ways or survival of the fittest. However, Dr. Toshifumi Minamoto, an ichthyologist from Hiroshima University, acknowledged the relationship's rarity and vouched that fish may remember people longer than expected, supporting the emotional connection between Arakawa and Yoriko. Sometimes bonds defying the norm can blossom through openness. Number two, giant squid. During deep water monitoring southeast of New Orleans for marine mammals in 2022, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration scientists aboard exploration vessel Nautilus glimpsed an exceptional sight, the emergence of an enormous squid looming from 1,000-meter darkness below. Its immense, solitary limb unfurled onto cameras briefly before again vanishing into blackness, leaving researchers stunned by the rare encounter. Tentative measurements estimated full length over 30 feet, tip to tip, based on the revealed portion's 10-foot span. While colossal and giant squids of such enormous proportions seem imaginative exaggerations, they remain little understood due to the extreme difficulty of collecting live specimens or even footage given their typical thousand-foot mesobathypelagic layer habitats between underwater canyons and oceanic abyssal plains. These brief surface glimpses underscore how alien their mysterious lives within perpetual midnight zones truly operate. What appears as mythologic krakens of yore sail past in utter invisibility save for a modicum of bioluminescence. Perhaps as technology progresses allowing longer submersions in their ulcerous realms, more of their kind may yet break above waves to satiate human curiosity before escaping once more into silent darkness below. Number 1. Mysterious Pufferfish Astonishing footage reveals a huge shoal of over 100 tiny pufferfish swimming in the shallow waters of a Philippines lagoon. The thumb-sized fish would ordinarily inhabit far deeper zones and therefore risk becoming stranded in the exposed region. Possessing limited mobility, these meandering fish seem oblivious to the band of hungry kingfishers circling hungrily overhead ready to snap up any sluggish stragglers separated from the group. Pufferfish compensate for their slow, clumsy swimming style through ingenious adaptations. When threatened, they inflate suddenly like balloons, revealing intimidating spines and becoming too wide for most predators to swallow. Though primarily marine dwellers, certain species traverse between fresh and brackish waters. These migratory behaviors may explain this swarm in the lagoon. Nevertheless, Lingering too long in such shallows can turn fatal. If they deflate or expend excessive energy evading predators, they risk sinking into the soft sediments where they easily suffocate. Time will tell whether this company's inland adventure ends in success or tragedy. For now, they appear safely held spellbound together in a living hydra of flowing fish. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.